those of you tuning in from the quick video coming back again from another parking lot uh it is a lazy sunday so i don't really have a lot going on so i wanted to go by my local uh tj maxx to see if there was anything new and i did find a fragrance that i've been trying to get my nose on again uh, it's been a while since i've tried it so i kind of don't remember what it smells like uh, but i did try it at the clothing store this particular line comes from the clothing store uh, about a year or so ago, I ended up did I did buy one from the line a long time ago. I ended up selling it since then, but it's a really nice fragrance. Uh, but it's from the house of Robert Graham. Uh, they do have a couple of others. They have Courage and Fortitude, and this one is Valor. So from the house of Robert Graham, we have Valor. If you guys can see that, sorry for the reflection there. But uh, Valor is the one that I want to say next to Fortitude. I like this one second best. And right now, these are uh, this whole line. I have to, actually haven't seen um, Fortitude uh, this time around, but I did find that one in Marshalls last year, I think, or two years ago or something. But I have not found that one, maybe because that, one, that one's a little better. Maybe people are buying that one up, but I'm not really sure. But I did see Valor and Courage uh, this time around at TJ Maxx. And so um, I read some stuff on Courage, and it didn't sound like something I'd like. Um, but the Valor did sound like one I wanted to kind of try again, and I've, for, I've forgotten since what it smells like. So I'm hoping it's the one that I like, because I know I like Fortitude for sure, but I, and I know I like one of the other ones from the three. So I'm hoping that Valor is the one. If you guys aren't familiar with Robert Graham, they are clothing, uh, I think they're just, they're just men's, possibly women's, but I think they're, they're men's uh, clothing, and I think they make these really fancy shirts. If you guys can see the on the label here, like if you guys ever seen their shirts they have like fabric on the inside like on the inside of the collars inside of the cuffs which is kind of cool it's kind of like their their signature um but this is a men's oriental spicy fragrance released in 2016 don't know the nose behind this fragrance and it's very simple composition it is sage coffee and amber and really the coffee and the ambers really kind of caught my attention with this fragrance so i'm just gonna give it a quick first impressions uh, you know, kind of going back to the old school videos where I just, you know, pick something up and just come out in the parking lot and just start shooting on my phone. Um, but I will give you guys an update on this one because I do plan on, you know, giving it a full wearing. But I think it's just a quicker format, right, than the whole, you know, setting up and doing all the, the different segments or whatever. But uh, this is going to be a little bit easier, a little bit faster for you guys. So I will give this one a first impressions right quick. There you go, clean hand. Okay. Hmm, okay. Definitely getting the sage and the coffee. Almost smells like licorice. Literally, it smells like a licorice stick. Like the black licorice, you know? But that's just the combination, I believe, of the sage and the coffee right now. The amber, I believe, is in there. I can get the sweetness of it. But it's not really taking over just yet. I'm sure the amber has something to do with that. Like some of the... Probably giving a little bit of the sweetness. It kind of reminds me of the licorice, but something really in this just gives it a really strong licorice note. I'm going to guess it's the coffee. But this smells really nice. Like, it's it's obviously um, going to be a little bit higher uh, quality. This is a bit more niche. I wouldn't think that just some everyday fragrance lover is going to really like this one off the top. Might take a minute for it to kick in. Um, but I've smelled, you know, a lot harsher coffee notes and fragrances, and this one actually smells pretty good. It's definitely sweet. It's definitely oriental. It's definitely spicy. I'm getting all that. But yeah, that licorice note might be a, a might be a deal breaker for me. It's not that bad, but I mean, if it turns into something better, it might be okay. Um, it definitely smells like niche quality, just because it's a little different. The composition's a little different. It's not your uh, designer, even though it is a designer. I'm saying the composition is just different. It's not going to be for your everyday casual fragrance wear. But right now, I can see the appeal in this. Um, that whole licorice thing might be a deal breaker. It might, it's kind of having me, give me second thoughts, but I'm, I'm gonna, you know, keep going forward with this one and see what this one's about. But it smells nice. The coffee note's really nice. But yeah, it smells okay. Um, I think it's gonna smell a lot better in the air. Um, it smells like it's not gonna be very strong. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And I'm going to make this fragrance my scent of the day, or scent of the evening, because I'm already wearing something. Uh, my scent of the evening, and then give you guys an update here shortly. Talk to you then. All right, guys, well, I'm back with my update for Valor from the house of Robert Graham. Yeah, so I spent quite a bit of time with this fragrance. I did uh, film the first half of the video back in the middle of February. Since then, uh, the world has changed quite a bit, and I think a lot of stores are closed, so I haven't 
been able to go back to see if these actually are still available. Um, but I believe this was 30 bucks um, at TJ Maxx, and I think I saw them at Marshalls as well. Uh, but yeah, this was a really nice fragrance. I really did like this one. It reminded me of a couple of others, which kind of kind of brings it down a couple of notches. But overall, it had a really nice scent to it. It, it was very high quality. Um, like I mentioned, the first half of the video kind of starts off with sort of a weird type of licorice smell. Over some time, I've come to really appreciate that. It's very unique in a sense to where that opening uh, doesn't really smell like a lot out there. Now, I did mention it smells like a couple of other fragrances towards the dry down uh, or even just a, you know maybe 15 minutes after putting it on. Uh, but that opening is pretty unique in my, in my opinion. It's very spicy, very masculine and sweet. A little bit of that licorice note might turn some noses off, but I liked it. It took a little bit of getting used to. Uh, but I will tell you guys, I did get noticed with this one. I'll speak about uh, more about that here in a little bit. But uh, yeah, I did get noticed with this almost every time I wore it, so that was really good. Uh, like I said, these are 30 bucks at uh, Marshalls and TJ Maxx, so I think that if those are still available, it might be a cheap but good fragrance, considering I think these are over 120 on the website. The fragrances that I think it reminded me of uh, was Amen Ultimate, which is the new Amen that just came out. Uh, this one has cappuccino and balsam fir and some cedar in it, and I believe some bergamot. Very similar with that cappuccino note. Uh, it's very uh, similar to the coffee note in this one. Um, it's very uh, spicy like, like um, Valor here. And also uh, Polo Red Extreme is another one. That one has coffee, ebony woods, and blood orange. So it kind of has the same... Uh, these three, uh, two fragrances kind of have the same going on as the Valor, um, but I do like Valor better. Longevity for this fragrance is actually really good. Um, contrary to what they're saying on for Granica, this fragrance did get me eight hours consistently. Uh, I did put on uh, eight sprays with this one, which is quite a bit. I know out there, guys, I do get my chest and I get my neck and my arms and stuff like that. So I'm wearing quite a bit of juice, but I did get eight hours consistently with this fragrance. Projection for this fragrance was really good in my opinion. I did uh, get noticed every time I wore this fragrance, so I know it projected pretty far off my skin. Uh, seriously, every time I wore it, I got a compliment. got a compliment at Chili's uh, having lunch. Someone said, what are you wearing? I want to get my husband that. Um, and it was just more like, man, you smell really good, that kind of stuff. Did not really think I would garner any attention for this fragrance. Um, this fragrance isn't beast mode by any means, but uh, I did get two to three hours of really good projection. The first three hours were really good, two to three hours, depending on how many you spray, I'll say again um but this one really stood out and i also think i got a little bit of ol olfactory fatigue with this one as well because people were com complimenting me well after you know four hours five hours six hours stuff like that hey, you smell really good what is that which was very surprising and I, I really liked the projection with this fragrance i'm not really sure if it's an edp or edt i can't remember uh what it said on the box i, I did, looked at the bottom of the bottle it didn't say i want to say it didn't even say on for Granica either. Uh, I will venture to say there's probably an EDP concentration just considering the other ones are pretty high quality as well. But two to three hours for this fragrance on projection is really good. Seasons for this fragrance, well this fragrance is very sweet and spicy, very masculine, has good performance too. I do venture to say this will be better in the cooler months, so fall and winter, maybe the warmer weather in spring, you know, in the evenings and whatnot, but you know, if it's the summertime, I'd definitely pass on this fragrance, probably be too cloying, too heavy for the hot weather, but uh, fall and winter are for sure. Good seasons for this fragrance. Occasions for this fragrance, I'm gonna say, are evening events. Uh, this one is very spicy and masculine and sweet. Uh, when I smell this fragrance, I do picture myself wearing like a suit and tie or just you know dressed up very nice. Um, you think with the sweetness it might be a little juvenile, but it really isn't. It's very spicy and masculine uh, and sexy, very sexy. I did get complimented with this one, like I mentioned before. Um, so I could definitely see myself wearing this one, uh, you know, evening events, formal events, date night. Uh, it might be even strong enough for the club. Ages for this fragrance, I'm gonna say are 25 and up. Like I mentioned before, it is very masculine and spicy, so I'm not really sure if the younger guys would like it. But it was priced just right at $30 at TJ Maxx. Not sure if they're still selling these, but I'm pretty sure you can find them around that price online. Um, but yeah, so you know the, the the price was cheap enough for the younger guys, but I do think this one's um, masculine and spicy and sweet enough for 25 and up. Overall, I gotta say, I do really like this fragrance. Yeah, it reminded me of a couple of others, the Polo Red Extreme and the Amen Ultimate. But I gotta say, out of these uh, two, I'd pick 
um, this one overall over these guys here because it just has better performance, in my opinion, just better overall smell. It's a lot, uh, you know, more masculine. These are a little bit more um, juvenile with the sweet notes and whatnot. And the uh, Polar Red Extreme is a little bit deeper and darker, which is fine. Uh, but overall, this one's sort of a good balance between the two. So I'd have to pick uh, Valor over these two. Uh, but I think this is a good TJ Maxx find or a Marshall's find. If you guys can find this one, um, last time I went, uh, before they started sh shutting all the stores down, they did have some bottles left. So I would venture to say that they're going to leave them on the shelves unless they just keep the inventory moving in and out like they normally do. Uh, but I do think this is a good fragrance. If you guys can get your hands on this fragrance, uh, for a good price, I think you, you guys are going to like it. Um, if you like coffee notes, sweet fragrances, oriental fragrances that are woody and spicy and deep and dark, um, you know, good date night fragrances, you know, that get compliments, you're going to like this fragrance. I'm telling you, I was very surprised by this one. I really didn't think it was going to do that great, you know, judging on the opening. In the first half of the video, I was a little put off by the opening. I was a little nervous of how it was going to turn out, but uh, I'm pleasantly surprised after a few wearings, and I've been wearing this one for a while now, and this one's definitely going to stay in my collection. So if you guys see a bottle of Valor from the House of Robert Graham, you might want to pick it up. All right, guys, so now it's your turn. Has anyone out there tried Valor from the House of Robert Graham? Let me know your thoughts on this fragrance down in the comments below. All right, thank you guys so much for watching another video on my channel. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those notifications for future first impressions videos and fragrance related content just like this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, dollars and cents. There, you'll find fragrance related photos and future contest winners. And like I mentioned in the last video, guys, we're going through some really hard times right now. Everyone, please stay safe and stay positive. Uh, stay inside. Please listen to the rules that your city is telling you to follow. Uh, that way we can all be safe and we can get through this uh, as soon as possible. I know it seems scary and it seems bigger than we are, but guys, just stay positive. We'll get through all this together. And until the next video, you guys take care. Thanks.